did you know lego made a big squishy brick approximately this much larger than a normal brick for the sake of because or how about if you go to a lego store some of them will just give you free exclusive tiles and they produce trash toothbrush minifigure none of this and more did you know instead of a traditional piece of paper that some employees that work for lego get a custom minifigure with their information on the back to pass out as business cards i'm assuming you probably did because my sister does and she actually went to college so the bar is not that high but what about the time when a certified lego store produced and passed out an unofficial official lego piece representing neil armstrong's boot print from the moon or did you ever notice lego sticker sheets have different numbers and letters on them representing different batch productions so you could get technically first edition lego sets i'm taking a bunch of different ideas i've had from the past couple years and pulling them together because they weren't enough by themselves to make a video but maybe combined i can squeeze just enough juice to get you to stick around for I don't know, five to five minutes? A question not very commonly asked was, what was the first Lego set to be produced? Sure, plenty of people might ask, what was the first Star Wars set? Or when did Ninjago start? Did you ever build the first Lego castle? Or is Snap mm -hmm. still a thing? Fortunately, the fans have taken upon themselves. So we know that set 700 was the first set. No, no, set 700, no. The other set, no, no, set, set, no, 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 there. Set 700, automatic binding bricks. What a doozy. The honor of being the first Lego set wouldn't actually fall with set 700. It would be a year prior when set 500, the first numbered Lego set ever, would be produced. There weren't any plastic bricks in here, just wooden blocks. That's just Danish for blocks. There's a, there's a lot of originality here. Why the first number and the set numbering scheme was 500 and not anything that makes more sense than 500? The Danes were fried. I don't know. Let me know. How was your first time? Was it enjoyable? D did you have fun when you were done with it? Were all parties involved? Satisfied with the finalized product? What theme was it from? <laughs> there are a staggering number of minifigures out there. Just a butt-clenching amount of different unique figures that you can go get right now. With, with so many different plastic peoples, it just begs the question, which one has the most variants? It'll take a lot to pass 32 different Spider-Man, or 41 unique Iron Man armor sets, or 54 Luke Skywalkers. It's a lot of farm boy Luke's. Your answer will ultimately boil down to one of two things. Are you a Star Wars fan or did you not watch the Clone Wars? If you didn't watch the Clone Wars, Batman's whopping 87 figures takes the cake. But if you like running some mental gymnastics, then the Clone Trooper actually has the most variants with 98 different figures. Now for some of you watching, that number might be a little bit contentious and you think Batman's the ultimate victor, and that's fair. But for those of you that do not need to dislodge a hard sideways turd out of your colon, then the clone troopers can go a lot higher if you want to get real funky with it. With his inclusion, we jump up to 117, but if we want to go just a little bit, stretch a little bit further and consider the fact that these are all clones, uh, identical clones to the original donor, Django Fett, then we go up past 120 figures. I want you to take a brief second to think about the largest Lego set you own. Now, I want you to take a second and think about how you're not really stacking up and comparing well to that giant Lego set. Let's go something a little bit more your speed and look at the smallest Lego sets ever made. Now, a lot of people are clinically stupid and don't consider poly bags as real Lego sets. So let's take a look at the same Lego sets every top 10 article online takes a look at. Wow, look at that smart car. It's so small. Wow, look at this little farm set. It has a pig in it. Man, Ray Warrior, 13 parts. What a small box. Wow. Bringing the poly bags in, we get the real smallest set being the brick separator with one piece, or the light up brick with one piece, or any number of Mindstorm sets with one piece. There are a lot of one piece sets out there. That's the point I'm trying to make. So many Lego sets come with printed parts to embellish details that normally wouldn't be able to be represented with just brick built construction. But which one's the oldest? My first thought was maybe it's some sort of one by two tile print that made its way all the way from the 70s from classic space. But I didn't consider that I'm diagnosable. It was quite literally staring me in the face. Between the original and the current day head prints, there's just a minuscule difference. The, the proportions are slightly off, but I don't believe in segregation, so I'm not gonna check for something else. One way for LEGO to get their audience to come back to buy that one last set that they need is by introducing collectibles in their theme. This is something super prevalent across the board, whether it be Ninjago's weapons, or Thanos' Infinity Stones, or Ninjago's weapons again, or the Elves books, or Ninjago's weapons Again, which theme had the most collectible parts in it? So there's a benchmark. Ninjago's first collectible only consisted of four things. The Infinity of the Stones, there was no more than six. Shoot, Nexo Knight shields had over 150 unique prints and stickers. But Bionicle? 
Oh no, I am far from an expert in Bionicle, but let's take these little wormies as an example. There are 16 different colors of this, this type of wormy, which doesn't seem like much until we realize there are six stages of these little wormy dudes, and each stage has 16 colors. And that's just for one of the bad guys. That's not including all the stupid little discs or squids or other projectiles that they try to package as collectible. And once you get into the mask collecting world, that is a rabbit hole that no one should ever go down. 